Today we are going to take a look at how to level a 3D printer. In this video I will show you how to manually level a 3D printer that has no sensor on its toolhead and I will show you how to level a 3D printer with a leveling sensor. So without further ado, let's get started. My name is Valentin and this is Craft Knights 3D. Let's start by leveling the Neptune 2S from Eligu first. This printer is an Ender Free clone and it doesn't have a leveling sensor, so we have to level it completely manually. We will start by homing the printer, and as soon as all three axes are homed, we will disable the stepper motors. This will allow us to move the print head and the print bed by hand. The goal of leveling a 3D printer is to get the nozzle as parallel as possible to the print bed. This will ensure that there is no layer adhesion issues and no bad adhesion issues. So take your time when leveling your 3D printer to avoid any issues later on. Trust me, it's well worth the time. Now that the printer is homed, the Z height of the print head is zero. So we can move the nozzle on the X and Y axis by hand and set the distance of the print bed to the nozzle by adjusting the turning knobs on the bottom of the print bed. So move the print head to one corner of the print bed and use a piece of paper to set the right distance of the print head to the bed. Use a normal piece of paper, don't use photo paper or anything like that as it is way too thick. Put the piece of paper between the nozzle and the print bed and move it back and forth. The nozzle should be close enough to the print bed so that the piece of paper between them has some resistance when you move it back and forth, but not so close that the paper becomes hard to move. Repeat this process for all four corners. And then repeat the process again for all the corners. This is because once you adjusted one corner, the other corners will slightly change their height as well. So we have to repeatedly adjust every corner until the bed is as evenly leveled as possible. The next thing we are going to do is to print a little leveling test file on the 3D printer. You can find all kinds of level calibration prints on printables or on Thingiverse. I have linked some in the description below. You should also clean the print bed with some isopropyl alcohol before you start the first print, just to make sure that the build surface is free of any dust or grease that might be left over from the manufacturing process or from previous prints. Now, when we run the calibration print, we can already see some issues with our leveled print bed. You can see that this print bed isn't completely level, even though I just leveled it. When the nozzle is too close, then the first layer will either be extremely under-extruded, when it is way too close to the print bed, as you can see right here, or the first layer has some deep grooves in it, as you can see right here. If the nozzle is too far away from the print bed, then the first layer will look like this. The filament lines are not connected to each other. So if you take the print off of the print bed, you will see that the lines can be pushed apart with almost no force. And if the nozzle is exactly the right distance from the print bed, then the first layer will look like this. All of the lines are connected to each other and fused together, and the first layer is smooth without any grooves. Now when we take a look at the finished calibration print, then you can see that some parts of the print bed are perfect and others are way too close. And if you look at the print bed with the calibration print on it, then you will realize that I can't possibly get this print bed perfectly leveled because the print bed itself is uneven. So what can we do when something like this happens? Well, unfortunately, we can't do much. We can upgrade the printer with a leveling sensor, which can help to negate the uneven print bed through the printer's firmware. And the second thing we can do is to level the bed in a way that the most important parts of the bed are level and then print in those parts of the print bed. For example, if the middle of your print bed is level, then try to mostly print in that area. Most modern 3D printers have moved away from the fully manual leveling process for this exact reason. So let's take a look at how semi-automatic 3D printer leveling works. 
Most manufacturers tell a little white lie when they say a printer has automatic bed leveling, because while the leveling process itself is automatic, you still have to set the Z offset with a piece of paper before you can start printing. So let's have a look at how this is done. I will be leveling the bed of this Ender 5S1 as an example. While the printer runs on Clipper through this Creality Sonic pad, the leveling process for other printers with a leveling probe will be pretty much the same. The Ender 5S1 needs to be roughly leveled manually and will then probe the entire bed with a CR touch sensor. Some printers are like that, but there are also 3D printers that got completely rid of the leveling knobs. They either have a fixed bed and rely completely on a leveling sensor, like the Aligo Neptune 3, or they have a print bed that can be moved, which allows for semi or fully automatic bed leveling, like the P1P. The P1P, by the way, needs no manual calibration from your side at all. It sets the Z offset automatically and levels the entire print bed automatically as well. But most printers will still require you to level the print bed with the leveling knobs under the print bed, even if they have a leveling sensor. So let's level the print bed of the Ender 5S1 just like we did with the Neptune 2S. The only difference is that the Ender 5S1 has a menu for manually leveling the print bed. What it does though is moving the print head to a new location if you press on the corresponding button on the touchpad. Once a print bed is leveled, you now have to set the Z offset. The Ender 5 s one will move its print head to the center of the print bed and move to the zero position on Z. Now you can move the print head up and down by very small increments through the menu on the touch screen until the nozzle has the perfect distance from the print bed. Once again, you will be using a piece of paper to get the right distance. This step is very important, so again, take your time. If you don't, you will regret it later. Once you are done with setting the Z offset, simply press on save and the printer will most likely restart to save the changes. The final step in leveling the printer is to run the automatic bed leveling or bed probing as it's called sometimes. This will prompt the 3D printer to probe several points on the print bed. The probe will measure the distance from the nozzle to the print bed and save the measured distances for each point in a so-called bed mesh. A bed mesh is a two-dimensional matrix of numbers that will help the firmware of the printer understand how even the print bed is relative to the nozzle. During the printing process, the printer will slightly adjust the Z height to make up for any imperfections in the heated bed. And if we run a leveling calibration print on the Ender 5S1 that we just leveled, we can see that the first layer is perfect, even though the print bed is not perfectly flat. There is one more thing that can help you level your print bed even better, which is baby stepping. Baby stepping is a feature that some 3D printers have that allows you to finely tune the first layer of your 3D print by adjusting the Z offset during the print job by small amounts. So if you see that your nozzle is not close enough to the print bed during the first print, then simply adjust the Z offset during the print. This is extremely useful because it allows you to finely tune your first layer mid print without needing to stop the print. And once you're done, you simply save the new Z offset. And this is how you properly level a 3D printer. Happy printing and as always, if you have any tips on leveling a 3D printer or you think I missed anything, then let me know in the comments below.